Good evening all, this is Brian with Stuck on Collectibles. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, sorry to say, the uh, giveaway I had, no one commented, so no winner. So we're going to try something different. Uh, what we're going to do is, I'm going to start doing this on the Facebook page. Since I have so many comic books to get rid of, I nail her. Narrowed down my collection to a couple titles I want to keep, so what I'm going to do is Mystery Bundles. So, the Mystery Bundle will be 13, uh, $13.50 shipped in the United States. Uh, it's $10 for the bundle, $3.50 for the shipping. And I will try to bundle it as neatly and as carefully as possible. So, uh, now for the giveaway. Uh, what you have to do is like the YouTube video, subscribe, go to the Stuck on Collectibles page on Facebook, sign up. I mean, uh, after the drawing's over, if you want to cancel out of it, go ahead. But there'll be a pinned area on the page for the giveaway. Uh, what I will do is you'll get one of the first bundles that I made up. Um... Uh, most of the bundles are made of DC, Marvel, a couple independents from anywhere from the 80s, 90s to now, up to now. And um, it's just that simple. Uh, if uh, you win the, win the giveaway, shipping's free. If you buy another bundle or something like that, uh, I'll take the bundle back down to $10. I'm going to list 10 bundles right now because that's all I put together right now. I want to see how well they sell. So I put 10 together for that and one for the giveaway. So that's a total of 11. So if you win the giveaway and you buy a bundle, no shipping. You just pay the $10 for the five comic books. And as you know, price of comic books nowadays run anywhere from $3 to $5. So five books for $10. Good deal. Uh, Reading the Syndicate page, uh, people were talking about Five Below was going to get in the Doctor Strange wave. That's the wave I'm trying to complete. I didn't have very good luck. They had they had gotten a box yesterday. They opened it. And it was a case of entirely of this guy. Sorry about the glare. Glare stinks on this phone. But that is the only one they got. Uh, I was going to try to check out another five below, but I haven't gotten there yet. I still need three more. I need the movie version Doctor Strange, comic version Doctor Strange, and the Iron Fist. If anybody finds one in five below and wants to sell me it to me at cost, I'll take them. Just to complete the set. I mean, this one I would never have bought, but he's got the head. You need the head. See? You guys can see it there. So, but the only other thing I bought is, uh, they had a Suicide Squad, they had Katana. So, yeah, Katana. Now, I only have three from this set. I have Deadshot, Katana, and one that's not on the, the Builder figure. Yeah, so... Yeah, that's that. Um, the other thing I was going to do. Um, going to start a discussion. I know a lot of people go to conventions, cons, stuff like that. Uh, what's some of your favorite things you do there besides just toy hunting? Me, I like uh, meeting some of the celebrities. I've had some good luck meeting some celebrities in the past. Uh... Some of my favorite ones, believe it or not, were Star Trek people. Um, my first, very first big con I went to was up in Allentown, Pennsylvania, where I got to met, meet Leonard Nimoy. That was awesome. And if you want to know how old that was, it was uh, two weeks before they started filming Star Trek IV The Voyage Home. So you can tell that was an old one. 
but uh, sorry, I'm trying to get everybody out of the room when I do this. Um, my favorite celebrity, I have a couple. Uh, I guess two of my favorite uh, meets were I went to a convention here in Pennsylvania up in a place called Wilkesboro. It was supposed to be a Star Trek convention with the two doctors. And at the time, Next Generation was out. I think it was like in, on its first or third season. And they had uh, Gates McFadden, who plays Dr. Beverly Crusher. And they had DeForest Kelly. Now, I went to the convention. Uh, I was living with my grandparents at the time, and they weren't too happy about me blowing my money on something as they considered a waste of money. Well, I took a Greyhound bus from around my home up to Wilkesboro, stayed in the hotel overnight, went to the show because I wanted to meet D4 Skelly. Lo and behold, his plane was late. <laughs> and I had to be at work the next day, so there was no way I could stay another night and take the bus back the next day. So I was leaving the convention center, and I must have went out one of the wrong doors. And lo and behold, him and his wife had just pulled in, and I got to shake his hand. He apologized for being late, and I was like, oh, this was... Back then he wasn't signing, he had problems with his hands and stuff like that, but just to shake his hand, talk to him for about 30 seconds, that made the convention worth it. I mean, I think that convention, I didn't spend a lot of money, mostly bus ticket, hotel, food, but uh, yeah, that was awesome. Uh, second one happened to be uh, Star Trek The Next Generation, uh, Marina Sirtis plays Deanna Troy, Counselor Deanna Troy on Star Trek Next Generation. Uh, this was like my third convention I've ever went to. Right here in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. And I don't know if everybody remembers, and they, I think they still do them, they call them Sea Trek. Where the they actors to go on a cruise and all that kind of stuff. And I was sitting at the entertainment, at the information booth. And she came up behind me and was telling me all about it. And I was just like so starstruck that I was so in awe that she would even come up and talk to me before she went on stage. That when I went and got her autograph, uh, she talked to me some more about it. And I still have not gone on a cruise. One day I will go on a cruise. Uh, but with her, we seen her uh, the next time I took my wife was about two years later and she remembered me of all things she remembered me they asked me if I've been on a cruise yet she introduced me and my wife to Jonathan Frakes who played Commander Riker which was awesome but if you want comment below tell me what you like to do when you go to the conventions other than toy shopping comic shopping and all that kind of stuff do you like to see the artist do you like to see the stars that show up I mean, I, I've had a couple other ones that were pretty good, and I'll go into them later. Uh, we'll talk about cons later on, but I'm going to keep this short. I've been having trouble uploading these videos when they're 15, 20 minutes long, so I'm going to try to keep it under 10 for a while until I can learn the process. But, uh, yeah, if you want to enter the giveaway uh, for the five comic books, this is the demo one. I have... 11 of them already taped together. Uh, you have to like this video, subscribe to this channel, uh, go to the Facebook page, sign up for that, and under the pin page, and that'll be up by tomorrow morning, this comment, I'd like the free bundle. And that's it. Well, thank you for tuning in. Have a good evening. Be kind to everybody, especially other toy hunters. And thank you. Have a good evening. Bye.